Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. So today we're going to be talking about something just a little bit different. Actually, it's much more of a tutorial based video and a guide about how you guys can make a bond in a single day, starting from completely scratch. I'm talking about like level 3 account scratch here. More importantly, and probably the best part about this list is that it is designed completely around a free to play player. The only downside is that a lot of these methods do require just a little bit of starting cash, usually about 1000 GP but as much as 10,000, so between 1000 and 10,000 GP to start. Either way, they're not all too bad, and it's uh, it's an okay way to make some pretty easy money. Now before we get into the list, let's really quickly go over how you can get your 10,000 from the Stronghold of Security. It's enough to get you started on basically all the methods within this list. If you're not ready to take the Stronghold on, since it does need some sort of stats, then you can get your 10k from picking up cow hides. Now just to note that killing cows yourself is actually a very slow and horrendous method, I basically recommend you completely ignore it at all costs. However, on a very populated free to play server, uh, you'll find players killing cows themselves just to simply train at the start. This allows you to go ahead and pick up inventories worth of cowhide very very quickly and sell them back onto the grand exchange. Keep in mind that even this is a very bad method in terms of GP per hour, but it's, it's a perfect way to get started. Now if you don't want to run around forcing yourself to pick up hide from a bunch of dead cows, then you also have the option to smelt bronze bars after mining the tine or copper yourself. This is a much slower method than picking up cow hide, but it's okay if you want to train some skills along the way, you know, as you get your starter cash. It only takes a couple of inventories to make 10k, but it, it is generally slow. Alright, once you got your starter cash in the bank and the boring part out of the way, we can actually get into the 8 different methods we have today. First up we have Wilderness Looting. This is sort of tricky and free to play, but it does have zero requirements and it, it can make some pretty decent money. You will get full inventories decently quick if you do it effectively, and I would say the cap is about 280,000 GP per hour, but you're more likely to average something like 110. With that being said, the problem is that looting within the wilderness is fairly random, and this is where the number and luck come in, because it's just kind of based around what you pick up. However, if you don't want RNG to base your GP per hour, then another awesome thing you can do is level up your magic to exactly 33. Using your starter cash, you can unlock the spell Telekinetic Grab, then telegrab nature ruins within the wilderness, or even grab some Zamuwines in there instead. Now I know that the wilderness does sound like a scary place, but just keep in mind that the wilderness in the free to play is actually a lot safer than you would expect. Bring a teleport out and some food and you should be okay. Maybe if you're still level 3 at this point you might want to be just a little bit careful, but with no teleblock and really bad freezing spells, it's not that hard to get away from any sort of PKers in the free to play wilderness. All you need to really do is tank for a few levels and then teleport out at level 20 wilderness. Now the best thing about this is it's probably the most efficient and best free to play money making method, however it requires you to train up your magic first and being able to uh, potentially survive PKers, so there is that risk right there if you die, you know? If you are afraid of dying, I recommend telegrabbing Zamiwine since you just need to bring a max of 28 law ruins per inventory, unlike for uh, telegrabbing nature ruins. You can also level up your crafting using cow hides, leather, and then once you've leveled them up, you can make gold, sapphire, and emerald rings. More specifically, making gold bars and then making gold amulets can net you just about 100,000 GP per hour, which, is, which isn't all too bad. However, at level 27 crafting, you can begin to dish out some emerald rings or sapphire rings and sell those back into the grand exchange for some pretty decent cash. Now another method to mention is that a lot of shop methods are actually pretty great. They require nothing but a little bit of starter cash, and they can really be one of the easiest methods and can be pretty decent. Some of these items can go as low as a single GP so it is really really easy to start and that's its biggest advantage. Just always make sure to check the different margins as the prices change as they can go up and down and the method is as simple as just buying uh, from the shop and then walking yourself over to the grand exchange for a nice little flip and sell them for a profit. Buying bronze plate legs is pretty good, bronze equipment in general is actually a great way to start out with some low cash. 
Gems in the Falador shop are also a great option, as well as the Wilderness Team Capes, Wooden Shields, and other low-level equipment in general. I'd recommend feathers and plenty of other items that aren't very expensive or too hard to buy. Generally, the idea of this is that low-tier gear works best for this method. This is because they can sell really cheap, but the thing is once you get to the iron gear, the shop prices become pretty crazy, so you won't make much of a profit from anything other than the basic stuff. Team capes are the most profitable item to buy from the store, but they are in the wilderness and they don't sell in bulk usually. So you have to buy a bunch of different ones within weird changing margins. So if you really want to do this for an extended period of time for money, then just prepare to do some research and a lot of running around. Another very great free to play option is tanning cow hides, which will net you around 54,000 GP per hour. The difference between hides and leather can be fairly small however, and the main demand for tanned cowhide is because they're needed so that people can make hard leather. You need to be patient while buying the hides low and selling the leather high. If you have no starter cash to buy cow hides, I recommend just simply picking them up slash killing cows in Lumbridge and tanning them in the same inventory. For those who don't simply want to head over to the Alcahard Tannery near the bank west of Lumbridge, you only have to dish out 1-3 to three GP for either tanned leather or hard tanned leather. I recommend getting the hard tanned leather as it results in more income and in turn more GP per hour. You can also sew the items yourself and turn them into items you can then sell. But make sure to look at the prices and if it's worth the extra step. Not the best money maker method of course in terms of GP per hour, but it does have a zero requirement and can be easily done with a fresh level 3 account. If anything, it's just a great way to afford starter gear in free to play and a very good transition into the more lucrative methods. Another very, very easy method is making dyes. It's kind of my favorite. You can go into the Daner village, which is located west of Lumbridge. Heading into the small house, you can find Aggie the witch, and you can give her ingredients for dye in return. Giving her two onions, which can be found uh, in the farmer Fred's house, will give you yellow dye. You can also trade three red berries, which can be found by the dark wizard circle, and that'll give you red dye. Two woad leaves will net you blue dye, and more importantly however, you can then mix dyes, mixing red and yellow will give you orange, blue and red will give you purple, and finally, blue and yellow will give you green. However, like most of these, make sure to check the prices and stay aware. In return, this method can be effective and it can net you about 150,000 to 200,000 GP per hour. Another method you can go for is selling items in the wilderness shop for high alchemy value. Generally, using low to mid tier gear and jewelry works the best for this method. This is one of the little bit more tricky ones since it requires a good amount of game knowledge to know how to find which items to sell. And this method actually requires a lot of starting cash, so it kind of goes a little bit off what we've been talking about, but the return is an amazing 500,000 GP per hour, if not more. Now I know in terms of runescape, <laughs> 500,000 GP per hour isn't a lot, but it's definitely one of the better ways to make money, if not the best consistent way for the free to play players that's that's the important thing however just be aware and be prepared to face pkers and always bring your teleport lastly we'll look at a method that's not actually the best in terms of gp per hour we're taking a little step back here but why i like it a lot is because it's great for uh, training combat or ranged while you get your first bond i recommend as you level up you simply start by killing cows then later move on to the hill giants and finally end off with the ogresses in the uh, corsair cove dungeon more specifically however, explaining each step a little bit more, you'll start at the cows and bank, then begin to tend the cow hides, buy some gear, and at a higher combat level of maybe around 40 plus or so, move to the hill giants and bank all the bones and other jobs worth more than 200 GP. The main money from the hill giants will come from the keys of killing the ober boss, and as you level up further you can move on to the ogresses, which is actually a decent money making method for free to play players. It just requires some combat stats to get into it, it's not ideal for brand new 100% fresh accounts to make money from or get a bond ASAP, but it's a great method in its own right. The thing is that the journey and time to gain money is definitely a lot slower, but I think it's, it might just be a little bit more enjoyable because you scale along with it and you level up. You also get to move around and break the cycle of repetitiveness, which is always a great change of pace, and by the time you get your bond, you'll have decent combat stats as well. 
So if you want to train your combat, this is really the main way to do it, while also saving up for your bond in free to play. If you grind really really hard, it's not impossible to get a bond in a day, 24 hours of playtime I mean, from this method, but it's probably the slowest money maker in this video. However, by far, the best way to make money as a free to play player is 100% flipping items for a crazy profit. It's also arguably the best money making method in the entire game altogether, which is absolutely crazy. However, it takes an insane amount of skill and game knowledge. The greatest thing of all, however, is that it's possible to do as a free to play player. It's, it's generally really complex, and the thing is that I don't want to even attempt to tackle this within this video. If you're interested to learn how to flip as a, as a free to play player, I recommend just typing it into YouTube, free to play flipping guide, and just watch videos that pop up there. It is really a complex system, and it is all about skill, but I really do love this topic. Now, I could go off the topic of the video here and just talk about flipping a lot, but I, I kind of want to just keep this short and not try to repeat myself here. But I think the best part about flipping and why I love this technique is that it, it comes down to skill and game knowledge, which is amazing. So the more money you make will be based around the more knowledge you have and the smarter you are with the items you gain. Now, I really love this. I, I love it because it's not tied to just simply grinding and cycling over and over. It has some thrill into it. Like if you get the item that you needed to flip and make a huge profit, there's that thrill of actually getting the item, running over and getting the money. I I, uh, I think it's my, it's my personal favorite. I really love doing this. And I definitely recommend a lot of RuneScape players to get into it, if of course you're interested. However, getting a little bit back on topic here, I would really just recommend if you are a free-to-play player and like RuneScape, just become a member and pay for it the first time if it's somehow a possible option for you. This is because it becomes 10 times easier to make money for bonds, even from a straight up level 3 account. You can make a bond from nothing in just a few hours as a play to pay player. But in free to play, even the absolutely best money makers for a max free to play account still cap around 300 to 400k per hour, maybe 500k max if you know you get really good at it, meaning you're looking at a pretty much full day of grinding for cash at a bare minimum compared to the multi-million GP per hour options the paid members have. The thing is, is as a member, you can earn 750k to 1 million per hour even on a fresh level 3 account. And as you level up, it only becomes easier to earn a bond in just one hour from killing bosses. Like, you know, just one hour of playtime is absolutely nothing. Most methods in this video will take you around 10 hours or so, if not a little bit more to earn a bond, meaning paid members have about 1000% more efficiency over the free to play. Now it's quite a grind for free to play and especially as a lot of these methods are pretty simple, it might just not be that much fun for you. However, with that being said, I totally understand that some people simply just can't afford or maybe don't have access to paying for membership, which is why we made this video. So hopefully this helped you guys out a lot and I hope that one day we will see you in the members world. Anyways, that just about wraps up the video for today. Which method have you guys used or are planning to use? Make sure to let us know if you found this video helpful and also let us know while you're down there what can we improve. If you guys like this video then hit that like button and subscribe for future content. And as always, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Thank <laughs> you.